Okay, so this is college trig. Find the quadrant containing t, theta, if the given conditions are true. So what quadrant are we in if cosine of t is greater than 0 and sine of t is less than 0? Well, let's look at this this way first. Let's look at cosine t. If cosine t is less than 0, we could be either here, because remember cosine is x, or we could be here. And then we'll look here and say, well, what about cosine of t? It's less than 0. So Remember, sine is y, so y value is less than 0 under the x-axis, so they're here and here. And what quadrant are we in? We're in quadrant 3. Remember, there are quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in this case, so in this case, we are in quadrant 3. All right, let's do the same thing with the next one. This is how I'm setting this up. Sine of t is less than 0, so we're here. It was less than 0 in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 because we're under the x-axis, right? Cotan is greater than 0. Well, cotan is y over, no, it's not. It's x over y. So they'd have to both, they'd have to either positive over positive, which is here. Let's do it in just different colors so we can see what I'm talking about here. So it will be positive over a positive. And in the quadrant 1, quadrant 1 is the positive, positive quadrant, so it could be there, or it could be in the negative, negative quadrant. So it could be here or here. So again, we're in quadrant 3. Quadrant 1, 2, 3. All right, let's look at another one. It's our last one. Hopefully this is making sense. The way I almost always do this is I set up a four a four, the four-quadrant plane, and I look at it that way. So we have co cosine... I oh, know we have cosecant. Remember, cosecant is 1 over sine theta, or sine t in this case, is greater than 0. So we, so this 1 will always be positive, so we need another positive on top of it. So that's either quadrant 1 or quadrant 2, isn't it? Secant, right, remembering that secant is 1 over cosine theta, so we want 1 over something negative, so we want 1 over something negative, which would be either here or here, right? Because cosine is x, and here we're to the left of the y-axis, so cosine is negative, and cosine is negative. That gives us quadrant 2. Look, I hope that's really helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.